Hello. Hello everyone, my name is Koyan and I'm going to show you how to create box mapping in Houdini. Let me show you what I mean. Because in Houdini there are a lot of mapping options but I didn't find anything really easy to use like box mapping in Max or other software. There are some forum threads in NodeForce, one uh, guy had posted a way that worked pretty good but it's using for each loop in SOPs and I don't think this is op uh, optimal because um, because the points get confused so let me show you so this works for planar mapping but I want to be able to easily rotate the mapping like I want to grab a box like that and rotate it and then uh, use that to choose the mapping I want so I just want to rotate this box like that and I want the mapping to correspond to the change and so what we have to do is uh, to pick the normal so we have to pick the projection plane from this box which has six projection planes so for each of these primitives we have to choose the most suitable projection plane so I'll start by creating a detail attribute with the number of primitives I guess there are any many other ways to do that but that's how I did it I need this number of primitives because I'm going to loop over each one of them and uh, compare the normals actually I need also the normals so I'm going to create a primitive normal attribute for both objects, the projection box and the actually I think it should be better here and this should run over vertices because we are creating UVs and um, so import detail attribute from the second input we are importing the one we which created the number of primitives so now for loop this is the length of the loop and we're going to start with the zero primitive now we are going to import the normal of the zero primitive and feed it here actually first create a variable So now we are going to cr compare the lengths of. Um, so uh, I'm going to add for each of the vectors of the cube. I'm going to add for each of the normals of the cube the normals of the polygons. And the longest vector, the longest resulting vector, is the most suitable one because. So the primitives normal if this normal is closer to the to this normal then when I add them the length will be the longest so that will tell me which is the most suitable normal from the cube to project so uh, import primitive attribute 
first input this is running over vertices so we have to import it like that so I'm going to add this to that and to the next normal the next phase of the cube so if the next normal is bigger the length of the sum is bigger than the first one then the feedbacks should switch so if it's not bigger uh, I am feeding back in the loop the same value but if the imported normal the sum is greater than the previous uh, normal sum then this switch node is going to switch to the new imported normal and now this is going in the loop and so after it loops over each uh, primitive then we have for the given primitive of the mesh we have the most suitable plane projection plane of the cube and now what we have to do is we have to transform from from this normal to 1 by z because the uv coordinates are x and y and z is not used in the uvs so we have to transform if it's this the projection plane is this then we have to transform from this normal to 1 by z and now just multiply the position and this will give us directly the uv coordinates let's see how this works I think it works not so bad yeah so I think it works fine see these are the original coordinates and these are the box mapping coordinates but now the problem it comes if I want to transform the projection cube it kind of works but not exactly how it should because we are not rotating uh, we are rotating this face but we are not using the actual face uh, instead we are only using it as a projection plane so it's the same projection plane so this doesn't rotate and to make it rotate I'm making another transform actually we have to multiply this I'm going to link this first to the transform node I don't see the translate parameter okay so I 
I'm just linking the values here. And now we actually need to multiply it by the inverted transform. And we also need to orient the chosen projection normal by this inverted thing. Mm, yeah. And now it works. It's pretty cool. It's really helpful to have such control. And you can also proceed to make it into a digital asset. So just start by collapse this to subnet. And you can, by the way, use uh, more than six uh, sided cube. I haven't tested it much, but it should work also with projection uh, geometry, not cube, but something more complicated. So now just create this asset like that and export this gizmo. Now you can just work like that, pretty comfortable. So yeah, you can bring it back again like that and just create mapping very easily for your geometry. And this is uh, so that it shows the cube so that you see visually the rotation. So that's my tutorial for box mapping. I think it's very useful. I hope you like it. Subscribe to my channel and like. Thanks. Bye.